डिजायर मीन्स दैट यू आर नॉट ऑल राइट विद योर सेल्फ एंड यू वॉन्ट समथिंग एल्स टू हैपन करेक्ट करेक्ट सो वी आर एनी वे नॉट लिविंग फॉर आर सेल्फ वी आर राधर लिविंग टू चेंज आर सेल्फ एंड आर दीज नॉट टू वेरी डिफरेंट थिंग्स इफ यू आर लिविंग फॉर योर सेल्फ एज यू आर देन वाई वुड यू वॉन्ट चेंज वाई वुड यू से आई वॉन्ट अ बिगर कार वाई वुड यू से आई वॉन्ट रिस्पेक्ट और अ ब्यूटिफुल मैन और वुमन then continue being as you are but you don't want to continue being as you are you don't live for yourself you live for a better self is that in you don't live for yourself you live for a better self, better self. so we all are any way desirous of a better self are we not there is nobody here who would not say that he or she is not desirous of a better self better self meaning a better you Correct. So now, listen to this again. For not one of us lives for himself, and not one dies for himself. We all want something better and different. The only obstacle is that we want that better thing. Mm -hmm. as per the definitions of this inferior thing that we anyway want to draw it's like this you have a servant he has been exposed as corrupt unfriendly hostile and also stupid a servant exposed as corrupt unfriendly hostile and stupid and because you are now firing him you want a better servant you don't want this servant now you want a better servant, better servant. but how are you choosing a better servant you are asking this one who is being fired to recommend a better servant what exactly was the charge upon him that he is hostile is stupid and corrupt and now you are telling him you will have to go you will have to go but the new one who will come will come upon your recommendation that is the mistake the entire mankind makes all of us want to get rid of this stupid servant and this stupid servant is our current condition but we want a future as envisioned by this same current condition we want a new self as per the imagination of this current rotten self don't we we are saying this current rotten self must go and a great new future must come what what is the definition of our great new future that definition is provided by this same rotten self that you want to expel Now, who will return as the new servant? The, the elder brother of this expired one. <laughs> And if this one was corrupt, then he is a swindler. <laughs> if this one was unfriendly, then he is brawler. a brawler, an enemy. <laughs> he has come with a gun. If this one was stupid, then that one is. Bonker. more honest <laughs> what about that means <laughs> and then you want to fire that new one after a while you want to fire because you know you want to improve man is continuously on a journey of improvement <laughs> and now you fire him and before he goes away you tell him no now that you are going away tell me who's the next one i must keep and he says why not 
Why don't you hire my father? <laughs> the younger one, then the elder one, and now comes the father. And he comes with a cannon, not a gun. <laughs> and then we wonder. We have been trying for improvement since so long. But instead of improvement, this is what I get. You see that cannonball? <laughs> that is being cooked for dinner. <laughs> and how is he going to spice it up? By putting in some gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball cooked in gunpowder. But I am improving, you see. When you fire your current situation, then fire the situated one as well. You fire only the situation, not yourself. You don't fire the situated. situated one. You are the situated one. But you are too attached to yourself to fire yourself. You fire this and that. You never have a breakup from yourself. yourself. Why not have a breakup party tonight in which you decide to Break away, break away from yourself. yourself. The final breakup. Living for the Lord and dying for the Lord means you hire your servants not upon the recommendation of the servant but according to the wishes of the Lord. If I want to reach there, I would rather ask that to tell me how to reach there. Gar par utarna chahiye. Okay, what is saying? Ah, that's strange. Because he knows the other show. The other show. If you want to reach there, then better be friends with someone who knows the other show. Who knows the other show. Kabir says, Jab par utarna chahiye, tab kevat se mili rahiye. If you want to cross over, then better be friends with the ferryman, the rover. But you say, no, I like only those who are like me. I like only those who are like me. Like me. And if you are like me, then you belong to this shore. Which means that it is guaranteed that I will never cross, cross over. To change, you will have to befriend someone who is not at all like you and therefore like you. If you are afraid of aliens, then you will forever be afraid of God. Because God in some way is a total alien to you. Being afraid of aliens is the same as being afraid of change, being afraid of the new. Hmm? Living for the Lord and dying for the Lord means that if I want to really change and improve, then my destination is the final improved version of me called God. God is nothing. But your ultimate potential. 
When you are refined, 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 refined and so very refined that you have disappeared, then you are nothing but God. You are always God. But before, you were God plus a lot. That lot is anyway false, but still there. Life must be a journey of continuous refinement of yourself. And remember that in refinement you don't add. What do you do? How is crude oil distilled? What happens? If 100 kilograms of crude is distilled and finally the weight of all the remainders is taken up, how much would it be? Less than 100, far less than 100. Refinement or distillation or sublimation is a process of losing yourself. That's what the aim of life is. Continue losing yourself. Continue losing yourself till none of you is left. And that is what is called the God presence. Hmm? That is what is called God presence. God presence. Nothing but that is now left. And if you are to lose the inessential, that cannot happen as per the wishes of the inessential, as per the advice of the inessential. When you are hiring the new servant, ask God, not the previous servant. If you want to change, do not ask yourself how to change. Rather, shut yourself down. Now the change has begun. Please understand this. It's a very common and very fatal mistake. We all are desirous of change. Our lives are a proof of that. Nobody is stagnant. We all are desperately pushing, shoveling, Elbowing, trying to somehow be something else at somewhere else. That is evident that we have a thirst to change. But still we do not find any real change happening. So you must investigate what is happening. This is what is happening. Hmm? It's like trying to do away with the flies without doing away with the dirt. If you really love improvement, then walk continuously and be prepared to sacrifice everything. Living for the Lord means I have no other purpose than to materialize my utmost potential. Your utmost potential is called as God. And dying for the Lord means that to realize that at most potential, I am willing to drop everything. Living for the Lord means that I have only one purpose in life. To be better, 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 better. What is the definition of being better? What is the definition of being better? How will you know that you are better? How will you know that improvement is happening? You become lighter. Moments of anxiety reduce. You become more stable, equanimous. Fear reduces. You are no more prone to domination. And you no longer want to dominate. 
a certain silent love is always radiating through your being. You are not easily nervous or jittery. 